morning, sir, and it's Julian Daily Believer, and here I am to report about my work about application in chemical engineering in a CQ problem solver. And I, I be a bit tasked to create four, ab about four, four courses, e and each of them have four problems. So we have four courses here, and our first we will be discuss about chemical engine thermodynamics. The second will be physical chemistry, and the third is momentum to transfer, and the last, the lastly, is the chemistry for engineers. And this is our first problem about chemical ter engineering thermodynamics, and we, our our problem is about is is. Say, stating that calculate the temperature change of one mole of the, 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 of the, the, the atomic gas contained in the piston. Q e or heat equals 65 K and work equals 200 joules. Yes. And so we have been created, uh, we have AB coding it with using the, using the, uh, mm, having an input and, and Created a formula which is a change in temperature equals to heat minus work over five over two times eight three uh, times two to R or eight point three one four in order to get the the temperature change of of the the atomic gas contained in the piston in Kelvin and this is the result if you input the sixty five J uh, 64 joules uh, uh, the, the, enter the heat the value of the heat which is 65 joules and uh, and, and enter the value of work which is 200 joules we will get in our in our problem solver which is six negative 6.98 kelvin so <laughs> next and this next stop um the problem is about is about is stating that the the standard ball entropy of liquid water is at 273.15 K Kelvin is 65 joules per Kelvin times more, and that of uh, of ice at the same temperature is 43 joules per kilo mole per kilo mole. Calculate the change in chemical potential of liquid water and of ice when the temperature is increased by one. Kelvin from the normal melting point, and so, um, um, to uh, now we create the coding with it, um, having the input of the all of the given that we needed in order to get to get, uh, in order to get the the chemical potential of H two O or liquid and the chemical potential of ice, and having and and and, and the result of this coding is this. Uh, input input the given which is which is what is which is the standard molar entropy of the ice which is the forty three kilo uh, joule, joules per kilomole uh, per uh, Kelvin mole and when the and and the change of temperature which is one k one Kelvin and uh, and this is the result and this is the result. Uh, which is negative 65 for liquid water if you input these 65 six, six, if you input the 65 um 65 uh which is the 65 um uh, value of the ent molar entropy of the water and the change in chemical potential of ice in j mol is negative 43 joules per mole And yeah, we are uh, mean speed and um and here we we are found at twenty five degrees sessions. A mean speed and uh, after that we, we input in the code. Enter enter the uh having an input input where I gonna put my data or the given. Which is the temperature and the molar mass of O2, which is 32 grams per mole, and the constant, which is the R that we needed in order to 
we'll get the data that we needed. We'll get the the unit that we needed to to, to execute uh to execute to have to have the results that we needed, which is meters per second. And so, um, this is the formula that we needed is which is we transfer the uh, because we convert the we convert the the temperature in Kelvin, and after that we find the root mean squared, which is square root square root of three times R times temperature of the the converted temperature over molar mass, which is thirty two grams per mole, uh, times to one over ten to the, uh, one ten to the power of three, which is uh, which is we needed to convert to eliminate the the grams in and transfer into kilogram and transfer to to joules and transfer to joules and transfer to and transfer that we needed in order to get the meters per second and it also it also also almost the same for the mean speed which is square root of but but different formula which is square root of eight times r times Temperature converted temperature over high molar mass polar mo molar mass times one over ten to the power of three almost the same and after that you will get the results that we needed uh we needed in a in, in below point of the prop of the of the coding and this is the result if we put the twenty five degrees Celsius as our temperature of o two and that 32 gram per mole of molar mass for O2, and we will get the result of it, which is which is the root mean squared, root mean root mean squared, uh, root mean squared speed, which is of the O2 is 482.07 meters per second, and the mean speed of O2, which is 444.14 meters per second. And our final, uh, our fi uh, fourth and final problem in chemical engineering thermodynamics problem solving. And here we have, uh, we have, we have a problem here, which is, we have, our problem is stated that a dilute hydrochloric acid or HCl is poured on some calcium carbonate in an open vessel and one mole of Carbon dioxide or CO2 is formed at 25 degrees Celsius. How much expansion work is that? And so I put the I put the sorry sorry form of the form of coding in order to 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 in to have an input of a given for the prop for our problem solver, and after that I create a solution. Shepard, we, and of course we have we still have the constant. 8.314 in order to get the or sorry and and we uh we converted the temperature that we input that we'll input in our program which which is one of the sessions into Kelvin and after that we will find the the work using the negative bowl times R times temperature in Kelvin because we uh, the original formula of work is negative P pressure change in delta V, but with, with the using of ideal gas law, we will really, we manage to eliminate the pressure and delta V and change it to mole times R times temper, to the temperature Kelvin. And so after that, we will manage to get the data, the data that we needed. And this is the result. Yeah, this is the result of the coding. And so, uh, we input the temporary cure of the CO2, which is 25 degrees Celsius, and enter the mole of the, of the carbon dioxide, which is one, one mole. And, uh, and we managed to get the expansion work of the CO2, which is negative, in joules, which is negative to 1,478.83. And now, and now we were going in a in our next part, which is physical chemistry. And our first problem is stating that the reading on a mercury manometer at 70 Fahrenheit 
open the atmosphere at one end is 25.62 inches. The local acceleration of gravity is 32.243 feet per second square. Atmospheric pressure is 29.86 inch, inch in mercury. What is the absolute pressure in, in PSA, PSA pound square per inches? We measure the intensity of mercury at 70 Fahrenheit is 30.553. From per cubic cubic centimeter, and so we put the per, the necessary data, which is the uh, the question and the input coding, and after that we will put the 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 necessary formula that we needed in order to get the results, which is the per, the the conversion of the pressure into m into into m to millimeter of mercury. And into and after that it will transfer into it will transfer into fresh uh it will per, turn to the pound per square inches into a pound square inches and after that we manage to get the pressure of gauge of gauge gauge in Pascal which is density times ten to the raise of three and Gravity axel which times to zero point three zero four eight, and times to the height which is zero point zero two five four, and after that, we will manage to get we will convert it into pound square inches uh, pound pound uh pounds per inches squared, and we will manage to get uh, after that we will manage to get the uh we manage to get the absolute pressure if we combine the pressure of atmospheric in in uh PSIA and uh, plus to pressure gauge and we will manage to get the results and you see here we will see here the problem which is the problem problem coding and we will we will see the input that we needed which is the atmospheric pressure of manometer in an inch inch in inch of Mercury, which is 29.86, which is 29.86, and the height of reading in a mercury manometer in in, 20, in inches is 25.62, and, and the density of the mercury in gram per cubic centimeter, which is 13.543, and the acceleration of gravity, which is 32.243. Feet, uh, uh, feet per second square, and after that we will manage to get the result, which is twenty-seven point twenty-three in in fresh in pound in pound square inches. And another next next problem: a gas confined in a zero point forty-seven diameter cylinder by a piston, which rests away. The mass of the piston and the weight together is 150 kilo. The local acceleration of gravity is 9.813 meters per second square. And atmospheric pressure is 101.57 kilopascal. What is the force in Newton? In, in Newton, excited on a gas by the atmosphere, atmosphere, the piston and the weight, assuming no friction between the piston and the cylinder. And so, uh, we were gonna progress in this. We using the problem coding part and the uh, input part. And after that, we will manage to get. We will put the formula that we needed in order to get the results, which is the area of the of the cylinder, which is uh, pi over four times the diameter squared. And after it which is what we input what which is the if the emitter which is the input what will be input for this data for that uh we will convert we will convert the pressure that we have into okay, convert uh, after that 
uh, we will get the force at atmospheric pressure using the data pressure atmospheric m and times to area. And after that, we will get the force of, of the gauge part using the mass times gravity axle. And after that, we will combine the force atmospheric and the force gauge and to to have the to get the force total. And after that, it will display that the, the result that we needed. And see, and this is this is the result of the of the coding, which is the problem input and after the problem, and after that it will be the input, which is the diameter of the cylinder in meters is, is 0 0.47, and the mass of the piston, which is 150 kilograms. The atmospheric pressure in piston of the piston is 101.27 kilopascal, and the acceler acceleration of gravity of the piston is 9.830 meters per second. And after that, we will get the result in Newton, which is 19,093.78 Newton. And using the giving number two, which is a uh, the previously we had been uh, discussed. What is the pressure in kilopascal? Oh, what is the pressure? Now we will use the diameter, diameter of the cylinder in the in the number in the previous number in the previous problem, and we will use also use the force total, which is the newton, the results of the num of the number two. That we that we need it in order to get the data, in order to get the data of of our new problem, which is number two, using the given into what is the pressure of the gas in kilopascal, and after that we also compute the area or again, which is high over four times diameter squared, and after that we will get the pressure by dividing the force total and the area over area. After that, we will get the pressure in KPA by having divided it to 10 to the power of 3. And after that, we will get the results. And this is the results of the coding. And this is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. And then this is the, diam the diameter of the cylinder, which is 0 0.47 meters in the previous uh, previous the previous problem and the results of the force exerted the gas in Newton, which is 19,093.78. And we will get the pressure of the gas in kilopascal, which is 110.05. And here, now we will combine what we have in a previous problem in 2 and 3 using the given the results in 2 and 3. If the gas in the cylinder is heated, it expands, pushing the piston and weight upward. If the piston and weight are raised 0 0.83 meters, what is the work done by the gas in kilojoules? What is the change in potential energy of the piston and weight? And after that, he put the problems, the problem that we need that we that will be that will be solved and the input the input where we were in the coding where we input the given the necessary that the necessary data that we need in order to get the results and after that we will have the formula which is here the pressure in pascal we will convert the pressure that we have into pascal and after that we have the area we need the area using the diameter and after that we will get the work using the the data that we have and the results of the previous two pr formula that we have that we have in here. And after that, we will have the work in kilopascal, which is we will divide it into ten to the raise and raise to the of the power of three. And after that, we will get the potential energy, which is the mass times gravity axle times height. After that, you will have it. It it will display the 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 results or the data that we have, that we have that we have.
Using the given in 2 and 3, if the gas in the cylinder is heated, it expands pushing the piston and weight upward. If the <laughs> sorry, I am mistaken. If the piston and weight are raised, are raised 0 0.83 meters, what is the work done by the gas in kilojoules? What is the change in potential energy of the piston and weight? And it is a problem. And now we will input the the necessary data in order to get the results, which is the the height, the piston, and weight is 0 0.83 meters, and the diameter of the same cylinder, which is 0 0.47 meters, the mass of the piston and weight, which is 150, 150 kilograms, and the acceleration of gravity of the piston, which is 9.813 meters per second. And after that, the pressure of the gas, which is 110.05 kilopascal, which is the we, we just we get in a previous problem. And the, the work done by the gas in kilojoule is 15.85. And our and after that we will get the results in Newton of the potential the, the change in potential energy of the piston weight, which is 1221.72 newtons. Now uh, after that, we will uh, we finally finish discuss about physical chemistry, and now we will transfer now in the momentum transfer. And the number one, we have uh, we have the stated is the distance between two par parallel plates is zero point zero zero nine hundred fourteen meters, and the lower plate is being pulled at a relate relative velocity of zero point three hundred sixty six meters per second greater than a greater than the top plate the fluid use is soybean oil with viscosity of 40 centipoise at 203 kelvin calculate the shear stress and the shear weight using the pound force feet and and second unit you know we will input the problem and the in and where will where will we input the data that that's that we need in order to get the results and after that, we will have here the the formula that we need, which is we will convert the centipoise into pound mass, which is six point six uh, uh, yeah six point seventy four times ten to the raise of negative. And after that, uh, we suppose that the desired data in order to, to get that we needed to transfer it to pound mass and and, and the desired data in order to get the pound force. Of that, we will get the viscosity plus conversion, which is viscosity in plus times to the L to the pound mass, which is six point seventy four times ten to the raise of negative four, and two into pound force, which is one over thirty two point one hundred seventy four. And after that, we will get the shear rate, which is the which is the velocity over distance. Sorry, it's just a delta V and delta C, but we have single prop, we have a single given, so just consider distance and velocity only. Uh, velocity over distance, that's all. Shear stress equals to viscosity plus times to the shear rate. And after that, we will get the results that we needed, that we needed in, in, in our, in our, what we have. What we want to find in this problem, and this is the results. We have the problem, and we will input the problem, which is the distance of the gas, which is zero point zero zero nine hundred fourteen meters, velocity of the gas, which is zero point three hundred sixty six meters per second, the viscosity of the gas, which is a forty centipoise, the shear rate of the soybean oil, is, and this is the result. <laughs> oh, this results. This is the results. The shear rate of the soybean oil is in, in per second is 40.04 per second. And the shear stress, <laughs> the shear stress of the soybean oil in pound force per feet is 3.335542 3 times rate times to the time times 10 to the raise of negative 2. The next our new problem. Calculate the pressure in pound squared inches at the bottom of a spherical tank filled with oil having a diameter of 8 feet 
The tap of the tongue is vented to the atmosphere, having pressure of 14.72 pound squared inches. The density of the oil is 0.922 gram per cubic meter cubic centimeters. Now we will input the problem and uh, where and the the day where we input the necessary data in order to get the results and the formula, which is we will trust we will convert the height into inches and the density we convert into pound force pound force pound force inches and we have a gravity which is on one one which is uh, it has a bunch of units a uh, bunch of units that we needed in order to get the necessary unit in our problem after that we will manage to get the pressure by having by having a height in ink a height in inches times the density pound force inches times to the gravity and plus to the pressure atmospheric that we have after that we will get the pressure at the bottom of the spherical tank in pre pound squared inches. Result. It is the result of the coding. Calculate the pressure. And it is, this is the key. This is the problem. And this is, the, this, this, this is where we put the desired data, which is the height of the bottom of the spherical tank, in, which is 8 feet. And the atmospheric atmosphere pressure of the top of the tank which is 40.72 pounds squared inches, the density of the oil, which is 0.922 gram per cubic centimeter. After that, we will get the pressure of the bottom tank, of the spherical tank, which is 17.92 17 pounds squared inches. Oops. And also, we have also uh, another joint, joint problem here, which is, Using the given in number two, we have what we have in, in a in a previous problem, which is number two. What is the pressure at the bottom of the spherical tank in kilonewton per meter squared? Now we are, we put the problem to the problem here. After that, we will put the 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 input data where we where we will insert insert the necessary data in order to get the results. After that, we have the formulas. We have the last of formula here. First, we will convert the height into meters. After that, we will convert the density in kilogram meter. Yeah, kilogram meter. And after that, we will get the we have the we have the 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 constant gravity value of the specific gravity, which is nine point eight zero six six five. And after that. It will get the pressure, uh, pressure atmospheric by uh, atmospheric by combining to six point eight nine four seven six times to ten to the rest. After that, we will get the pressure, which is height uh, with the converted height into meters and the density and the converted density into kilogram per meter second cu cubic meter, and times the gravity that we have with the constant and plus to the pressure. The pressure atmospheric and uh, converted pressure. And after that, we will convert the pressure, the result of the pressure into KPA at uh, the kilonewton. And in, to get it, we need to divide it into 10 raised to 3. And now we will get the results. We will get the results after that. Oops. And this is the, this is the, the results, which is the, using the given in 2. What is the problem? This is the problem. This is the problem. Yeah, this is the problem. And this is the height. We, we, our, we will input the data that we, that we needed in order to get the results, which is the height of the bottom of the spherical tank, which is 8 feet, the atmospheric pressure of the top of the tank, which is 14.72 pounds squared inches, the density of the oil, which is 0 0.922 gram per cubic centimeters. After that, we will get the results, which is 123.54 trillion newtons per cubic eight per square meter. Meter squared. After that, we will have another problem, which is the stated that the pressure at the top of the tank of jet fuel is 180.6 kilo newton squared meter. The depth of the liquid tank in the tank is 6.4 meters. The density of the fuel is 825 kilograms per cubic meters. 
Calculate the head of the liquid in meters that corresponds to the absolute pressure at the bottom of the tank. Now, we put the problem here, the problem, the the problem that we needed, and the the uh, where we will the input. Where will we input the data, the necessary data that we needed in order to get the results? After that, there are formulas now, lots lots of formulas that we needed in order to get the results we needed, which is that. Which is the conversion of the pressure in the top and have the pressure of the top and having the gravity constant 9.80665 and the pressure bot the uh, bottom the uh, pressure of the bottom we will get it by by having a formula of height times density by height times density times gravity plus pressure top end. After that, we will get the height fluid, which is the head of the fluid. We will manage to get the, the head of the liquid by having a pressure by having the formula of pressure bot that we manage that 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 will be the result of the previous formula that we discussed uh, seconds ago, and over density times gravity. After that, we will get the results after that, and that really is the code. Uh, the prob this is the problem here, and this is the necessary data that we needed to get, which is the top the pressure of the top tank, uh, which is 180.6 kilonewtons per q per squared meter, meter squared, and the height of the bottom tank, which is 6.4 meters, and the density of the fuel, which is which is 125 kilogram per cubic meter, and after that we will manage to get the head of the liquid. That res that corresponds to absolute pressure at the tank of the at the at the bottom of the tank, which is two thousand seven hundred sixty two point twenty six meters. After that, we will have we will discuss uh, after we uh, we finished we finished the uh, we finished discuss the the momentum transfer and now we will go we will go and discuss about chemistry for engineers. We have the first project, which is well, which is the conversion of the of the length, which is we see here, which is convert the fifty centimeters into kilometers, and to, to and now we have a coding here, which is which is put the put the problem here and the put the input where where will input the data, and after that we will have the formula, which is. Which is in order to get the kilo length, we need to we need to times it to ten one over ten raised to five, and we will manage to get the the length in kilometers, a kilo kilometers, a length in kilometers. Now, in it is the results, which is this is the problem. It is the input data, which is fifty centimeters the length, and we will manage to get. The kilometers, the the length in kilometers, which is five point uh, five point oh five point zero times ten to the raise of negative four. And now the and after this also it's a length, but we will use the inch units, which is we will convert the eight inches into feet. And after that we will convert and this is the problem. In the input data, and we will we will convert the inches eight inch the inches into feet, which is the length times over times three point two two eight oh eight, which is the feet, and thirty nine point two seven, which is the inches. And we will manage to get the length in feet, the result of the length in feet, and this is the result of the coding, which is to convert eight inches to feet. And the length of the of the of the given which is in inches is eight inches and and the results of it is zero point sixty seven and after that we will have the conversion of the zero point five cubic meter to quartz to quart <laughs> in order to get that. We will put in in coding. We will put the problem and the input data, 
And after that, we will transfer the volume into gallons. And after that, we will uh, we will get the we will after that we will get the quart. We will get the quart by having having the the volume in gallons in times times four. And we will get the results. And this is the result of the, of the coding, which is convert to 0 0.5 cubic meter to part with AK, and enter the volume in cubic meter, which is 0 0.5. And the volume in quart is 528.34. Oops. And code. It is the conversion. And now we will have in pressure right now. In the previous, we have the length. Length in as a unit like in English unit uh, volume and now we have in a, here in the pressure now we will convert the 20 pounds square inches into kilonewton per meter squared and to convert that we will, we will in coding we will put the problem in the input data and after that we will get the we will get the conversion first and we will get uh, um, conversion first into newton over meter squared uh, uh, meter squared and we will manage to get and we will convert it into kilo newton per meter squared and for that we will have the results and this is the, the and this is the result of the coding which is the problem and then given which is the pressure in pound squared inches which is 20 20 if we put it and the volume in kilo newton per um, this mistake. <laughs> um, just imagine the pressure, uh, uh, and the pressure of it, which is one hundred thirty-seven point nine kilonewton per meter squared. And this is a combination, the combination of all the codes that we have in all of the problems in the four courses, and we compilation it of it into one, and having like a like a like a like a mini browser like a, you know a mini browser in a matlab and choose the num choose a course and uh, choose the problem that we need and will uh, you will reach the prop which the destination that you wanted which is we 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 i use a different coding i use a ta i use a different type of coding which is which is i'm using an if loop system and it can it can repeat back and forth it 200 times in the system using my using the coding that they have which is an if loop system and you see we have the we have the problem solver the, uh, the the title the selections and and of course we have the exit where we'll exit the program after after the necessary the sorry expectation expectation of spectator of this program and we have this physical chemistry and the chooses and the prop the problem uh that we can select while having this program after that and you see we have so much so much so much so much problem so much after that if and if we manage to have a wrong number, a wrong number input like five or six or or more than or more than the or more than the value that we need that that the 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 system needed, we will we will put it else, which is the which is which is we will get a, we will you will receive the the you will receive the inf the information that you put a wrong number and input anything to try again and you will reach in the in the start this is the start which is the which is the which is the selection of the four courses if you manage to wrong of a, of the of some uh, of uh, if you manage to get wrong of a number that you input and after you used and after you use um uh, use the problem you will be tasked to click any numerical value to back in main menu which is the main menu, which is which is the problem so the section of four courses. And after that, if you click, if you click, if you click the exit, you will manage to exit, exit this pro. This 
this program we managed to exit the program and finish the execution after you after you finished to spectate is this uh, this program of, of the that i have created have that thank you for listening eh <laughs> this uh, thank you for listening sir and and thank you for thank you, thank you. and goodbye